Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Thursday, May 21st, and we are uh, continuing with midday prayer, but we're going to use it for the morning uh, out of Common Prayer, a liturgy for ordinary radicals. Uh, And there should be a a PDF or a document that you can open to follow along with the service. If you don't have access to it, you'll still be able to follow along just fine. And our song for this week is Holy, 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 and we'll sing the refrain through together. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, Early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Draw us into your love, Christ Jesus, and deliver us from fear. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O merciful Master, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm for this week is Psalm 93. The Lord is sovereign, robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. The Lord has made the world so sure that it cannot be moved. Ever since the world began, your throne has been established. You are from everlasting. The waters have lifted up, O Lord. The waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the sound of many waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, mightier is the Lord who dwells on high. Your testimonies are very sure, and holiness befits your house, O Lord, forever and forevermore. Our reading for this morning comes from the book of Acts, chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. And this is the reading for Ascension. Today is Ascension Day. Happy Ascension Day. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and while they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way you saw him go into heaven. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Make us worthy, Lord, to serve our siblings throughout the world who live and die in poverty and pain. Give them today, through our hands, their daily bread. And through our understanding and love, give peace and joy. Amen. Blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are the hungry, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they are the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness and justice, for great is their reward. Come, Holy Spirit. We pray that your fruit would be in us, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Dear Jesus, help us to spread your fragrance everywhere we go. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, fill us with new life. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from you. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Through our lives and by our prayers, may your kingdom come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share a sign of Christ's peace with those we encounter this day. Amen.